five. That's five. Trace horse. Yeah. First day of the run, today's a travel day. We're loading up the van and trailer to head to Michigan, I think. Somewhere, I guess, near Detroit. It's actually crazy being back here because when I was in the Muddy Magnolias for two, two and a half years, we always used to meet and load up and bus out of this spot. And we haven't done that as a band, or I haven't done that with Jesse as a band in like, a year and a half so it's actually really cool to be back here and loading up to head out on the road something like squarish that would fit right here you know i can probably put hey my, if you uh, want to you can put that any clothes like designed in like you know 2017. i went to the gym to meet my trainer and i was like why do you need a trainer and you're like that's remember don't let your journey slow you down don't get caught up on why things aren't All right, first travel day is done. Just made it to somewhere outside of Detroit, Michigan, I think. I was zoned into working on a video in the back of the van all day, so I really didn't pay attention at all to where we were, where we were going. Uh, but it wasn't that bad. Nashville to Detroit. I think we're just gonna crash the hotel tonight. First show is tomorrow night. Uh, I think just outside of Detroit, so. And kind of relax, take it easy tonight, and uh, get ready to play tomorrow. All right, loaded up to head to the first show. I'm kind of nervous, which I wasn't anticipating. I'm not quite sure why. Alright, here we are, first load in, first show. It's gonna be a fun night, I think.
All right, so we're about 15 minutes from showtime for the first show of the run. I don't normally get nervous before shows, but I think I was nervous earlier because I was supposed to sing tonight, sing background vocals, and that's something that I've been wanting to do but really afraid of for a long time. And uh, during sound check, I had a mic and was about to start checking it, and one of Gary's sound engineers came up and took it from me and they didn't give me another mic and to be honest I was kind of relieved like thank god I don't have to sing tonight in front of I think this venue holds like seven to ten thousand people something like that I, I don't know how now because we're the opener we probably won't play for that many people but still I was really nervous anytime you're on the first show of a run like this the first show is always a little uh I don't know kind of knocking the cobwebs off getting ready for the rest of the run so I think it's gonna be good. We're prepared, we're ready. This is a really good band, like a really, really good band. So, I'm excited.
Okay, getting ready for night two on the run. The first show in Detroit was so good, man. That that was uh, that was one for the books. So, uh, so <laughs> I decided during sound check, I specifically requested a mic for myself, even though it was in advance. It's not on the stage plot because I want to face my fears, so to speak. I mean, I shouldn't over dramatize this. It's not like I'm, you know, singing by myself. I'm, I'm singing a relatively simple couple of background parts. It's not that big of a deal. But like I said, to me, this is something I've been kind of putting off, been wanting to do, but been putting off for a long time because I was scared. There's really only one way to get past your fear of something, and that is to do it. So I'm going to do it tonight in front of those people out there. So um, I shouldn't be nervous. This is not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Just singing some background parts. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, it's good. It looks soft. It's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like Nashville, man. Or Atlanta. Yeah, it feels like Nashville for sure. Right, can you tell us where we're at right now? We're in um, Council Bluffs, Iowa. Technically, well, almost Omaha. Omaha's right there across the river. It's been interesting. It's been kind of tough to like develop a rhythm because we've had show, then day off, then show, then day off. But tonight and tomorrow night are consecutive, so I'm excited to like get into it and find the find the vibe, find the rhythm. So. You did. I saw a little bit of it. Yeah.
his green card, but he lost his woman. Brother out there doing deals right now. Walking to the pop, pop, pop of a four five sneakers cracking crack. So last show of this run, um, it's always bittersweet when you come to the end of a tour like this because it's been so much fun. Gary and Zapata and the whole band have been really great to hang out with and they've been watching all of our sets and really supportive and that's always super awesome. Yeah. But I feel like this was a really big run for me in that like I faced kind of a big fear of mine, something that I've been wanting to do for a while. You know, I've now sang on stage uh, twice, which again, probably doesn't seem like that big of a deal on the video, but to me, it's, uh, it's a pretty big deal. I feel a lot more confident in myself now as a musician, and I feel a little bit more validated in that this is something that I need to start practicing and honing and getting better at, because it is actually a lot of fun. I don't know why I was so scared of it for so long but you know so we've got one last show tonight my wife is here which is amazing uh, so she'll get to see the set and uh and it's back home when you guys are done we're coming off stage left okay, okay. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. all right love you